What's up YouTube, Jeff back again, and today, doing a comparison video, today is release day for the Pixel 5, and today I'm gonna do a comparison between the OnePlus 8T and the Pixel 5. Now I've had the OnePlus 8T for about a week, I got this last week on launch day for that phone. Pixel 5 I've had about two and a half weeks or so now. This phone I got early as a review unit from Google, so huge shout out to them um, for sending that out. So today, I'm gonna to talk about five reasons that you may consider buying the Pixel 5 over the OnePlus 8T. So the first thing that I think is a pretty obvious one is the form factor. So if you're a person who likes smaller phones, obviously you can see here just by these two side by side, the Pixel 5 is a much smaller device. Um, it's in height, width, every possible dimension. If you're a person who likes a more compact device, um, the Pixel 5 is going to be the phone for you. Now, it may be a little bit thicker on the side profile, but um, when it comes to one-handed usability, uh, that's not the thing that you're really worried about if you're worried about getting a smaller phone. So, of course, this is not going to apply to everyone, but this is a possible reason that if you're considering these two phones, which are at a similar price point, that you might consider the Pixel 5 over the OnePlus 8T when you're making your final decision. The next thing is battery life. And this is one that's a little surprising to me um, because after using these phones, the OnePlus 8T has a much larger battery, of course, because it's a bigger phone in general, um, about 500 milliamp hours extra over the Pixel 5. But when it comes to battery life, uh, the Pixel 5 has been very, very impressive. Uh, and there's no doubt for me that the Pixel 5 has had better battery life in terms of screen on time and daily usage uh, than the OnePlus 8T. In fact, the Pixel 5 has been one of the best battery life devices I've had in quite a while. I've been getting, I mean, I've been on Wi-Fi a lot, again, because of, you know, the pandemic and everything, working at home a lot of days. But I've been getting like eight hour screen on time when I'm mostly on Wi-Fi. That's still really impressive. And I still go to bed with like 25% on the Pixel 5. The OnePlus 8T, um, you guys can see there, 32%. I've actually been using this one for most of today. And right now it's at 2.35 p.m and uh, I've been using pretty heavy. I'd probably be out of juice by like five o'clock and I'd have to go ahead and recharge the device. So obviously for me, the screen on time has been around maybe four and a half, five and a half hours on the OnePlus 8T. So about three hours more on the Pixel 5. That's kind of a big deal. And I've been using dark mode on both of them, similar usage patterns and things like that. So obviously that's a huge deal and battery life these days is one of the most important things for people when making a decision. So if you're gonna go battery life champ, I'd go with the Pixel 5 in my personal opinion. Uh, the next thing is the camera. So the camera on the Pixel 5, in my personal opinion again, is superior to the OnePlus 8T. Now it's kind of interesting because the OnePlus 8T of course has some newer hardware and Google's mainly still doing things with older camera hardware and software. Uh, but if you actually look at some of the photos, I took a test photo right before this and I'll drop it below because it's hard to tell uh, in the actual sort of video which one is better. This is the OnePlus 8T, and this is the Google Pixel 5. And I think you can even see here, um, even in the video, the level of detail and also the brightness between the two. The Pixel 5 has much better low light capability in indoor situations, whether you have pretty good lighting like I do right now under my studio lights, or you have a low light situation where it's in a dark room inside, the Pixel 5 tends to perform better. And the reason I'm showing you both photos is not on one phone is because I want it to be on the same screen. Uh, but I'll drop this one below uh, and also a bunch of other photos that I've taken so you guys can take a look and compare uh, the differences between these. So obviously camera is very important to people. The Pixel has always been one of the better cameras. I do think Google could do quite a bit to step up their game with some newer hardware because the software is only going to cut it for so long. But right now it's ahead of the OnePlus 8T. I'd say the only phones that it's really lagging behind are some of the Huawei phones and also, of course, um, the iPhone most likely that just released and then the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. Um, but otherwise, if you're looking in this uh, mid-tier premium budget segment like the 8T and the Pixel 5, I'd give the Pixel 5 the edge on battery life. Pixel 5 has an official IP68 rating um, and the OnePlus 8T does not have an IP68 rating officially, unless you buy the T-Mobile model. Uh, of course, a lot of people will say that, you know, the OnePlus 8T does actually have water and dust resistance, but it's not official. And if you want an official 
sort of guarantee or endorsement from the manufacturer and you want to go with the Pixel 5 for that reason. And that is actually something to think about, of course, because if you have an issue where your phone does get dropped in water for a very short period of time, it would be better to have that official rating so that you know that you're covered. The last thing for me when buying the Pixel 5 over the OnePlus 8T would be the software considerations. Now, a few years ago, everyone knew I was a huge OnePlus software fan, Oxygen OS, but OnePlus in the last couple of years, they've really kind of made their software look closer to Samsung software than stock Android. And that's not really something I've enjoyed. I know some people kind of like it, but I wish that OnePlus would have stuck with what made them unique and was keeping that closer to stock experience. Their software is not slow by any you know, stretch of the imagination, but I still prefer the Google experience of Android on the Pixel um, over Oxygen OS now. They've just, you know, they just bogged it down with a lot of options and menus. And I, again, I know some people will appreciate these. If you're a Samsung fan, you probably will like it because it is closer, in my opinion, to Samsung's software experience than what you would see on a Google phone these days, which is exactly the opposite of what you saw before. Um, both of these are very, very snappy though. Don't get me wrong at all. Um, they're both very fast and you wouldn't have any issues running the software day to day on either device. But uh, if you are someone who's been a long time OnePlus fan and one of your favorite things was that minimalist software, some of that charm is gone now uh, from the OnePlus Oxygen OS experience. All right, so those are my five things. If you're considering the Pixel 5 over the OnePlus 8T to kind of nudge you in that direction, perhaps. The size of the phone, the IP68 rating, the superior battery life, a better camera, and in my opinion, still maintaining that nice close to stock experience, whereas OnePlus has went away from that a little bit over the years. Now, as always, I will be fair and make a video highlighting why you might consider the OnePlus 8T over the Pixel 5. I just like to do them in separate videos. That keeps them shorter, keeps people interested in the video, etc. cetera. If you guys have any comments, suggestions, questions, or if you wanna chime in on what you think the OnePlus 8T does better than the Pixel 5, feel free to drop that in the comments below. Find me at Twitter and Instagram as well. Follow me on social media. Like, comment, subscribe if you wanna see future videos like this. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.